Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayson and thank you for joining me. Well, the Australian dollar continues to slide and now reaches its objective, the last one I was calling, at 75, 25, 35. And therefore, that puts me in a point of a neutral bias. However, with that being said, the ADX is still very much holding to a bearish trend and still likely to see maybe further stops if we go through 75.25. It's surprising, but nevertheless, the market has seen the US dollar extend its rally after the hawkish Fed on Wednesday. With the upside extension to the dollar index is around 93, could see a lot more pressure on some of these currencies. Nevertheless, beneath 75.25, on a close of New York, we see a target of 74.70 or even down to 74.20 if there is a lot of long positions. As you can see here, we've been holding quite a while since at least the beginning of the year at this level. And therefore, no doubt, we could see a bit of a slide if we close underneath that level to 75.25. Viewing on to the euro, well, the market still continues to slide and reaches its objective. First of all, one one nineteen ninety, and then the next target I was calling was at uh, one eighteen sixty seventy, which isn't too far away. Is we don't if we don't hold at one eighteen sixty, then the next target will be one eighteen ten to one seventeen fifty. And as I mentioned, the U.S. dollar has extended, and the balls are very much in play due to the recent Federal Reserve rate decision and statement from Jerome Powell. The dollar yen staged a course correction in front of the 111 and now looking back towards its trend line, seeing roughly around 109.50. I do anticipate that the, the bears may actually take the lead further if we break this level down to 108.45. Nevertheless, with the yen strengthening compa in compared to the slightly weaker dollar, let's see how the market plays out. But nevertheless, we're in this channel at the moment, as you can see, and no doubt we could see support from 109. 40, well, about around 40, 60 area. Sterling plummets further and now looking possibly down towards 138 figure 10 area due to the strength of the US dollar and also some concerns that uh, the lockdown may actually take some time due to the cases of the uh, COVID-19 doubling in, every, in the last few days due to the uh, Delta variant. Nevertheless, tonight we've got the UK retail sales, so let's see if that does pull a little bit of pressure. But the trend is very strong for the uh, bear case to the sterling, so that's why I'm viewing down to 138.70 to 138.10.15 area. With the yen strengthening and the sterling falling, we saw a very heavy sell off in sterling yen reaches this target at 153 and a half it is assessed that we could see even 152 now due to the pattern of the technicals increasing to the bearish case reassessed from there gold plummets further on friday early in the morning uh, from the new york close that is and now looks towards a region of 1760.70 there has been in the last couple of hours a small rebound but nevertheless, the technicals are a little bit oversold, but the trend is still there in terms of a bearish case. Do note, if 1,760 doesn't hold, then my next target isn't till 1,720.25, with the upside attempts likely to lack towards the 1,800 mark. Finishing up with oil, we do have the Baker Hughes oil rig count today. Along with that, the last three days of bearishness since the rejection from the high 73 does look back towards the region now. I'm viewing around 68.45.55 a barrel. Beneath there, I don't see little support until around 66.50.80. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And as always, look out for the intraday report. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day and the great start to the new weekend.